In the early stages of the highly dynamic system modeling process, collaboration may become challenging when elements are locked by other users. You would have to wait until the lock is released, which may be time inefficient and eventually result in low productivity. A lock-free editing mode enables users to work on model elements without locks so that you can introduce your changes immediately. Note that diagrams, used projects, and project properties still require locks in this editing mode. If two users decide to modify the same element, all new changes are merged automatically. However, if the same properties of an element are being modified, our Smart Conflicts Detection Mechanism will warn you about any conflicting changes and their outcomes. Let's see Lock-Free Editing Mode in action in the Modeling Tool. To enable the Lock-Free Editing Mode in your project, simply go to Options, Project. In the Open dialog, select General. And under Collaboration, set Lock-Free Editing to True, and then click OK. Note that this will remove current locks from all users and will create a new project version. Click Continue. That's it. The lock-free editing mode is now enabled in your project. To demonstrate this feature, we will simulate two users working on the same project at the same time. John and Anna have opened the Car Braking Analysis Project. They are working on two different diagrams. Both of these diagrams have a symbol of the same block displayed. John adds a new RPM value property to a vehicle analysis block and commits his changes. Meanwhile, Anna renames this block to Car Vehicle Analysis and also executes a commit. Since Anna's open version is no longer the latest version, she is required to update the project during a commit. After the commit is complete, you can see that both changes have been merged in Anna's modeling client. If John updates the project to see Anna's changes, the same merged block will be shown. Since elements no longer have locks, conflicting changes may appear. Let's continue working on the same project and set a type for the RPM value property. John decides that the RPM's type shall be rotation and commits the change. However, Anna decides that the RPM's type is frequency in hertz. She tries to commit the project, but during the update, a conflicting change is found. Reviewing and confirming conflicts are required before updating the project. A new Conflicting Changes panel opens up, allowing you to see the conflicting elements. You can investigate the changes that are already committed to the server and decide whether you want to discard your changes or confirm the update result. In this case, Anna thinks that her change is the correct one, and the Preview Update Result panel ensures that local changes will overwrite the upcoming changes. Therefore, she confirms this update result. After all conflicts are reviewed and confirmed, she can continue executing a commit. As a result, the latest version contains RPM with frequency set as a type. For more information about the product, please visit our website at the link below.